Hi, so in this video we are going to discuss 50 MCQs on green chemistry. Now this is going to be very interesting. So let us check our understanding on green chemistry. And if you have to revise karne hai 12 principles, so you can click on the link in the i button. I have one full video on green chemistry 12 principles. Now let us go ahead with the MCQs. So first question, green chemistry aims to... Uh, Design chemical product and process that maximize profit? No, profitable uh, it's not the concept. Design safer chemical product and processes that reduce or eliminate the use and generation of hazardous substance. Yeah, I think this one. Let us cross check. Design chemical product and process that work most efficiently? Uh, no, not always. And utilize non renewable energy? Not always. So the correct answer is B. Let us go ahead with which of the following are among the 12 principles of green chemistry. Design commercially viable product. No, uh, it is not meant for making profits. Use only new solvent. Uh, not only. Use catalysts. Uh, yes. Reuse waste. So which one is in the principle? I think a use catalyst is the clear cut principle. Uh, but a reuse waste is one of the aim. So principle is use catalyst. Uh, what is the U.S. Presidential Green Chemistry Challenge Award? An award related to recycling for industry only, not related to that. It's related to green chemistry uh, overall. It's the only chemistry award given by president and challenge companies to become fuel efficient. No, I think it is the only chemical chemistry award which is given by the president. That is why the name after U.S. Presidential. The first listed of the 12 principle of green chemistry is... First principle is prevent waste. Uh, if you want to remind or remember about them, you just go and watch the video uh, on principle number one, pre uh, prevent waste on my channel. This word is synonymous with green chemistry and also means harmless, gentle and not life threatening. Okay, so sustainable, uh, not exactly. Because it includes all uh, so economical and social and environmental and all. Uh, so sustainability, it's not about being gentle. Benign, uh, yes, I think yes. User friendly is gentle, but it, it could be life threatening, uh, harmless. All of the things are to be involved. So greenness also is not there. It, it is, has to be benign. The term used to measure a product or a person's environmental impact. EI, environmental impact to calculate a person's, I think uh, carbon footprint normally we say, so it is footprint. Uh, which of the following is the greenest solvent? Formaldehyde, benzene, ethanol, they all are chemicals which they do have certain properties like benzene is carcinogenic, they are toxic somehow. But greenest solvent, obviously water is the answer. Used to indicate the level of contaminants present, the term PPM, very easy, parts per million. Environmental benefits of green chemistry include fewer raw material and natural resources use, yes. Cleaner production technology and reduced emission, yes. Smaller quantities of hazardous waste to be treated and disposed of, yes. So definitely we can go ahead with all of the above. In the late 1960s, the Cuyahoga River in Ohio overlaid it with chemical pollutants and killed fish, no, it was Minamata disease. Polluted surrounding soil, uh, no, that was uh, Love Canal problem. Caused foaming, no. Yeah, it was Sea of Fire, River of Fire. It caught fire in 1960s. And uh, again, a, a separate video I have made on Cuyahoga River and Love Canal case studies of green chemistry. You can watch the playlist green chemistry. Shortly after midnight in 1984, a reaction caused poisonous methyl isocyanate gas to leak from a factory in the city causing around 3700 deaths uh, that we cannot forget it was India and that is Bhopal tragedy, Bhopal gas tragedy, methyl isocyanate gas was there which was leaked. The term missing in risk is equal to hazard into exposure. That's a that's a numerical uh, thing and you can you know calculate the thing also. So that's exposure. I cannot explain each and everything here but then you may watch my videos or if you can write in the comment which topic you would like me to take I'll make a video on it uh, very quickly let us go to next VOC have been replaced and were banned in some paints uh, VOC is always volatile organic compound so it is volatile organic uh, compound the second one 
Benzene or dash substance is an important industrial solvent used in production of pharmaceuticals, plastics and dyes. Uh, benzene is odorless, no. Non-flammable, no. Biodegradable, no. It is carcinogenic. Yes, it is a cancer-causing compound. Aromatic. Definition of green chemistry is the same as definition of sustainability. Uh, not exactly it's not the same sustainability is having a wider approach green chemistry do follow the principles of sustainability but it is not same it is sustainability is uh, sorry it, it, it would be false because sustainability is like living in today's world and to ensure that the future generation also is going to get uh, the good environment which we are getting green chemistry is one part of it not the same since 1996, Presidential Green Chemistry Challenge Award winning technologies have helped save or eliminate at least 1.3 billion pounds of hazardous chemical and solvent. Yeah, definitely it's true. It's a good initiative. A chemical process with an E factor of 1 creates less waste than E factor of 25. Oh, what do you think? Do you remember what is E factor? No? Uh... Yeah, you may again watch my video on E factor and I've done the calculations of E factor also. Uh, but as of now, E factor is equal to like total uh, amount of waste and divide by the total mass of the product. So mass of the waste by mass of the product. That is what the E factor is. Now they say that the E factor is 1. That means the amount of waste obviously you are going to divide. So now when it is 25, that means the amount of total waste is more in that uh, particular thing so obviously chemical process with e factor less creates less waste so yes it is true green chemistry can provide green technology solutions for a sustainable future yeah it can provide dr Pal paul and esters and dr john warner created 10 principles of green chemistry to reduce or eliminate the use and generation of hazardous substances uh, to sahi rahe mujhe ye. uh yeah paul anestes was the person who coined the term green chemistry principles but oh oh they have not created 10 they have created 12 principles so it is false oh tricky green chemistry is more expensive than traditional chemistry no not at all so false the following legislation gave birth to today's green chemistry initiatives. Uh, yeah, it was pollution prevention. Again, needless to say that you may watch my first video of green chemistry. In 1998, this state signed green chemistry legislation promising to remove politics from evaluation of disputed chemicals. Yes, that was a very important move and that California did. Which of the following is not one of the 12 principles of green chemistry? Okay. So just remind, uh, using high temperatures to speed up reaction, minimizing toxic reagents used in a synthesis, maximization of atom economy, minimizing the use of solvent. Atom economy is there in the second principle, minimizing use of solvent is also there, fourth, fifth one. Minimizing toxic reagents used in synthesis is the fourth principle. High temperature, it never suggests that you use high temperature. So I think this is the answer. In fact, it suggests for energy efficiency. For efficient green process, value of atom economy and E factor should be. Again, uh, you may uh, see the calculations. Uh, in that video, I have taken so many practice problems that after watching that video, you'll be able to calculate atom economy and E factor. Uh, let us see. Atom economy is like uh, total waste, um, like total uh, desired product amount, like molecular mass of the desired product by the total product which is like me right so uh, obviously desired product should be more and in e factor i said that amount of waste uh, comes right so what do you think it should be high or low atom economy definitely has to be high so so that the desired product is higher and e factor should be less so high and low respectively green chemistry synthesis could also involve which of the following High temperature? No, no. Dichloromethane? No. Uh, it is uh, poisonous. Fossil fuels? No. We are uh, thinking of green concepts. So microwave? Yes. You will see that microwave increase the temperature is there, range is there, but no. It is used in energy efficient technique and when we use microwave, the overall time decreases for a reaction and that helps. Time is money, right? So microwave, definitely. 
ट्राई टी आर आई इज़ यूज बाई द ई पी ए एनवायरमेंटल प्रोटेक्शन एजेंसी टू ट्रैक पोल्यूशन प्रिवेंशन टी आर आई स्टैंड फॉर इट्स टॉक्सिक रिलीज इन्वेंटरी वेयर इट इज या सो इट इज टॉक्सिक रिलीज इन्वेंटरी सोया बीन इज यूज टू रिप्लेस ट्रेडिशनल इंक इन प्रिंटर कार्ट्रिज हाईलाइटिंग विच ऑफ द ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री प्रिंसिपल ओ सो इट्स रिप्लेसिंग द ट्रेडिशनल वन दैट मीन्स इट्स यूज ऑफ रिन्यूएबल फीड स्टॉक प्रिंसिपल नंबर सेवन वेर यू यूज रिन्यूएबल फीड स्टॉक्स इन सोया बीन इज रिन्यूएबल सो द ओवरऑल प्रोडक्ट इज ग्रीन देन बायो पॉलीमर्स एग्जाम्पलीफाई ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री प्रिंसिपल टेन वॉट इज दैट सो इफ यू डोंट रिमेंबर इट बाय नंबर यू मे रिमेंबर बाय द सब्सटेंस ना द सब्सटेंस इज सेंग इट्स बायो पॉलीमर बायो पॉलीमर आर मेन टू डी ग्रेड राइट सिंस प्लास्टिक डज नॉट डी ग्रेड तो आई थिंक इट्स डिजाइन फॉर डिग्रेशन डिग्रेडेशन सो यू जस्ट डिजाइन इट इन अ सच मैनर दैट वंस द प्रोडक्ट इज यूज यू कैन डिग्रेड इट मे बी फुली मे बी पार्शली बट वेन इट इज बायो इट इज फुली डिग्रेडेबल The use of solar power is covered within green chemistry principle six. What is that? Okay, so the green chemistry principle six is designed for energy efficiency, and definitely solar power is a energy efficient technique. This green chemical is used in household cleaner to remove stains and is also a favorite dressing on salad. I think with that you will be able to understand vinegar. Acetic acid is always used as a dressing. so that biodiesel is an example of which of the 12 principles of green chemistry now if you remember biodiesel also have replaced your conventional fuel it is blended with diesel and you can use it as a uh, fuel right so this is use of renewable feed stock because normal vegetable oils are used and by transesterification they are converted into biodiesel and the same goes with bioethanol also so what you have done is you have actually used a renewable feed stock which is the oil and that you are actually transesterifying so this is principle 7 green chemistry can reduce all but which of the following okay so it's saying can reduce all but which of the following that means you have to say which it does not reduce cost risk hazard awareness yeah right yeah waste green chemistry can reduce all but which of the following yeah it can reduce waste risk hazard cost awareness is the problem green chemistry improves dash of chemical manufacturers okay chemicals so nahi aayega services bhi nahi aayega easiness of production uh, not always but yes competitiveness is always there because when you are a brand and you say that your product is greener you make a green product and smart product and all these words when are attached to your product obviously your competitiveness increases because then the other brands have to think something new to launch the green synthesis methods should have low efficiency no high harmful products no low energy requirement low atom efficiency atom efficiency has to be high so it has to be low energy requirements mena mater disease is one of the first and most serious disease resulted by chemical yeah that was one of the most serious disease i think it happened in around 1950s 56 or something and uh, people were uh, eating fishes and uh, in the fish it, it, in that bay actually the water was contaminated by the chemical due to which the fish uh, also got contaminated and the people who were eating uh, got neuro diseases and that was because of methyl mercury so that is mena mata disease according to the green chemistry the chemical involved in the production must be non toxic highly toxic toxic produces toxic obviously non toxic green chemistry reduces dash and protects the environment yeah it reduces pollution dash is an excellent green solvent as well as greenhouse gas greenhouse gas you all remember it's co2 and co2 in critical state supercritical uh, co2 is an excellent green solvent so you can use it uh, supercritical co2 are used in decaffeination are used in dry cleaning also in computer chips also etc we must use feed stock derived from annually renewable resources or from uh use feed stock from not from chemical not from organic compound abundant waste in plants uh not from plants actually not always but yes if waste is there and you're using it then obviously you should use that feed stock so abundant waste green chemistry applies across dash of a chemical product like design manufacture and use oh so this is not property use or efficiency it's a life cycle cradle to grave or cradle to cradle approach is there right since from inception at the end you have to apply the green chemistry this is the reaction which takes place under presence of catalyst find out the percentage atom economy 
now as i said atom economy was amount of total desired product by the product so uh, overall uh, desired product is this right and uh, there is no by product so obviously this by this will give you 100% peanut butter diseases in neurological syndrome caused by yes i said methyl mercury so this is mercury poisoning which of the following is not one of the 12 principles of green chemistry using renewable feed stock yes it's seven designer safer chemical and product yes fourth one maximizing atom economy two avoiding the use of catalyst no they say use catalyst don't avoid them so this is not in the 12 principle dash is the fundamental advantage of the sono chemistry in organic synthesis without solvent sono chemistry this is used for energy efficient technique uh, and this gives you very very high yields that is why you can use it Biocatalysis has become very useful in green chemistry manufacturing. True, microwave assisted reaction operates at a frequency of two point four five gigahertz. Ultrasound assisted reaction generally occurs in the range of yes twenty kilohertz. Business benefits of green chemistry includes uh, reduced cost associated with waste. Yes, innovating greener products. to entice customer definitely greater compliance with the environmental legislation uh yes so when more than one two are correct i think all of the above uh, we can select the following term refers to the relative proportion of chemical components relative proportion okay so they are always mentioned at the stoichiometry so answer is stoichiometry to overcome this and this problems related to starting compounds involved in any organic synthesis one must use cleaner chemical process okay so to overcome what to overcome ionic and solvent problem no functional and group problem no all of these is not there environmental and health problems related to this yes that's the correct answer so uh, with that i think you have uh, liked uh, the video and if you want me to cover more of the questions just mention in the comment i'll make a new video for you and thank you for watching thank you so much and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe